Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve another block diagram reduction problem. And the problem is, for the system represented by block diagram shown in figure, find C1 by R1. So here, this is our diagram. And this block diagram has multiple inputs and multiple outputs. That is, it has two inputs and two outputs. So, we are asked to find only C1 by R1 ratio. So, here, the, our first step is we have to consider only R1 and C1 and we have to eliminate R2 and C2. Right. So, this is our step 1. So, here in this step 1, I am removing this R2. That is, this summing point will get removed. So, when this summing point get, gets removed, to this summing point, I am having H2 and this H2 is with a positive feedback. So, just I can remove, simply remove the summing point and I can directly connect this H2 to the summing point to here, right. So, this is here, this is our summing point 2 and this H2 is connected directly to this 2 with a plus sign because here it is connected with a plus sign, right. And C2, I have to remove this C2. So, here as I am removing this C2, the value of G, G6 is nothing. Okay, it is just like 0. So, I am removing this block G6 also. So, when you remove this block G6, this block diagram will be reduced as this G5 and this G5 is connected to H1. Similar here, just like this. This G5 is connected to H1. That's it. Right. So, this is our first step. Hope you all are clear with this. And the next one is eliminating the feedback loop of G4 with unity feedback. So here this is our loop right this is our feedback loop and the type of feedback is unity feedback that is here we have to assume that is a block that is a block with value 1 right. So, what is the basic formula in reducing a feedback loop is the general formula here is G divided by 1 plus GH if the feedback is negative. So, here again in the place of G I am having G4. So, G4 divided by 1 plus again the place of G, G4 and here it is nothing but there is a block with value 1. So, G4 into 1. Right. So, the final expression will be G4 divided by 1 plus G4. So, just write this expression here. So, here we will be having G4 divided by 1 plus G4. Right. So, our step number 2 is over here. And the next step is listen carefully. So, here this H2 block and this G4 by 1 plus G4 block and this G5 block and this H1 block are in series connection. Can you see that? So H2 and this H2 is connected with G4 and the output of G4 is connected to G5 and again this output of G5 is connected to H1. Right. So these four blocks are in series connection. So how we combine elements in series? Just we have to multiply. So, when you multiply this element in series, just I can even draw here separately H2 and this H2 is connected with this block G4 by 1 plus G4 and this is connected with G5 and again this G5 is connected with our H1, right. So, these four blocks are in series. So, just combine elements here. So, just we have to multiply. So, when you multiply, you will be having G4, G5, H1, H2, the whole divided by 1 plus G4, right. Just I am multiplying all these four elements, that's it. So, here instead of these four blocks, I can write this expression here. So, when you write this expression here, you will be having G4, G5, H1, H2, the whole divided by 1 plus G4, right. So, this is our step number 3. Right? And now, what happens? This is your feed forward element and this is your respective feedback. Right? 
So the next step is I have to reduce this feedback loop and the type of feedback here is positive feedback. Okay, you have to keenly note whether the feedback is positive or negative. That's it. So before that, listen, here to the summing point, I am having three inputs, right? One is R1 and one is with plus sign and one is with minus sign. Now I am going to consider only this feedback path. So the summing point will exist, okay, with this negative sign because that is some other input which is collected over here. So the thing is, I am splitting the summing point into two. That is summing point with a positive feedback and the next one is another, the another thing, the summing point with a negative feedback. So the element which I have obtained in the previous case is, that is the output which you have obtained is, just I am going to write this expression over here, G4, G5, H1, H2 divided by 1 plus G4. So here the expression will be, G4, G5, H1, H2 divided by 1 plus G4. Right. So this is our feedback loop. So when you eliminate this feedback loop, that is with the positive feedback, the basic formula is G divided by 1 minus GH. Right. So here in the place of G, I am having G1. So G1 divided by 1 minus again G1. And in the place of H, I am having this one. So just multiply. So G1, G4, G5, H1, H2 divided by 1 plus G4. Right. So here, just take LCM. So when you take LCM, you will be having G1 divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1, H2, the whole divided by 1 plus G4, right. So, when you rearrange this expression again, you will be having G1 into this 1 plus G4 will occupy the numerator part. So, G1 into 1 plus G4 whole divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1 and H2, right. So, write this expression over here. So, G1 into 1 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1 and H2. Right. So, this is our step number 5. And the next step is, here these two blocks are in series. So, when you combine these two blocks, just you have to multiply the elements. So, when you multiply, this equation will become G1 g2 into 1 plus g4 the whole divided by 1 plus g4 minus g1 g4 g5 h1 and h2 right and again here this is the feed forward element and this is our feedback right so this is the feedback with the unity this is a unity feedback that to the feedback is negative. So again, I have to reduce this feedback loop. So again, the basic formula is, what is the basic formula? Here we will be having, let me write here, okay. This will occupy much space. So in the place of G, I am having this expression. So write it. So G1, G2 into 1 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1 and H2. Right. First let me write the basic formula. Basic formula will be G divided by 1 plus GH. So in the place of G, I am having this one. And in the place of H, I am having this one. So first I had written G divided by 1 plus. So 1 plus again G, I am having this one. So write it. So G1, G2 into 1 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1, H2 and this expression then the type of feedback is in the place of H I am having 1. So which is multiplied by 1. So again when you solve this G1, G2 into 1 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1, H2 the whole divided by just take LCM in the denominator part. So when you take LCM, it, the expression will become 
1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1, H2 plus G1, G2, 1 plus G4. The whole divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1 and H2. Right. So, here this denominator terms will get cancelled and the remaining term will be I am having as G1, G2 into 1 plus G4. The whole divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1, H2 plus G1, G2 into 1 plus G4. Right. So, this is our expression after reducing this feedback loop. So, just write this expression as such. So, I am going to write this expression here. So, I will be having G1, G2 into 1 plus G4. The whole divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1, H2 plus G1, G2 into 1 plus G4. Right. So, again, now these two elements are in series. So, just we have to multiply these two elements. That's all. So, when you multiply, you will be having G1, G2, G3 into 1 plus G4. And the whole divided by 1 plus G4 minus G1, G4, G5, H1, H2 plus G1, G2 into 1 plus G4. Right. This is our final expression. Hence, they are asked to find C1 by R1 ratio. This is our respect to C1 by R1 ratio or in other words, this is the transfer function of this given block diagram. That's all. The problem gets over here. Hope you all are clear with this. Thank you.